Welcome to the Learning Lab class, Google Apps for Organization. My name is Melissa and I'm one of the Adult and Teen Services Librarians at the Arcadia Public Library. In this class series, we'll be taking a look at three Google Apps and their features that can help you stay organized. In this last video, we'll be checking out Google Keep, Google's Notes app, and explore some tips and tricks to help you stay organized. So let's get started. As we jump in, just a general reminder that your Google account and apps are going to look different than mine since we have different content in our accounts, but the navigation and structure should generally be the same. Another quick note, some of the organizational tips and tricks will be available to you using the internet browser. However, most of the features of Google Keep are really designed for a mobile device. So if you don't see an option on the computer, you should head to your mobile device and use the app to complete the task. First, I'm here at keep.google.com in my web browser, and we're gonna talk about what Google Keep is. If you're not logged in, you'll be taken to the landing page and you'll need to enter your username and password. If you're on a personal device, it's likely that your credentials are saved and when you head to keep.google.com, you'll be taken directly to this section of your Google account. You can also access the Keep app from your Gmail inbox, which I'll show you. You can also access Keep from your Gmail inbox by clicking on the Keep icon on the right-hand side, and then to expand it to its own tab, you would just do the box with the outward arrow, and it again will just open in its own tab. I'm gonna close those extra tabs there. So what is Google Keep? Essentially, Google Keep is a notes app that integrates into many other Google services, as we've seen. It is accessible on the web, but it's also accessible as an app on your mobile device and comes standard on Android devices. Google Keep has a variety of functions as a notes app, including notes, reminders, voice memos. So it's a powerful tool that can be leveraged to keep you organized. We're gonna be looking at Google Keep on a computer, but these tips and tricks largely work the same on the app on a mobile device. The only one that's not available in an internet browser is voice memos, which is only available in the mobile app version of Keep. So let's take a quick look at the basic navigation of Google Keep on a computer just to get ourselves acclimated. On the top center, we have the search bar where you can search your notes. You also have a refresh button if you've made changes on your mobile app and want to see them reflected in the internet browser. Then you also have the ability to change from the grid view, which is what we're looking at now, to a list view, which is just more of a straight list. I'm gonna head back to the grid view. The settings for Keep are pretty basic, but let's take a look at them so that you have an idea of what you can control within Keep. So I clicked on the gear and then I'm gonna click on settings. It has information about your default displays, when you get reminders, and how, if you want to enable sharing or not. The three lines in the upper left-hand corner expand or collapse this left-hand navigation menu. So I can have it be small icons that expand when I hover over them, or I can just have it expanded at all times for easy access. And then this menu is categorized into notes and reminders, then any labels you might have for your account. And then there's the archive and the trash. Finally in the center is the area where you can create additional notes and see the notes that you have existing. So this area up here is where you can create a new note and then the area below is where the things that are already in your account are. Since we're on the computer, I've gone ahead and included the screenshot of the menu options that appear on the bottom of the mobile app. So in the bottom of a new note in the mobile app, you have the additional option of the microphone, which is how you would record a voice memo. The app will automatically transcribe your audio to text and include the recording at the bottom of the note. 
So that is a quick and easy way to keep track of ideas, reminders, or whatever you need to do without typing it out manually. So again, this is what it looks like in the mobile app, and you just have that additional voice memo option. And when you click on it, it will have you say something, and the transcript will be below, and then the actual recording will be below that. Keep also has a variety of features to help keep you organized with your various notes. First, you have the ability to create labels for your notes. And in a similar manner to labels, like we discussed in the previous class on Gmail. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna head to the top here and create a new note. So. Once I have this note created, I have a variety of organizational options. The label options are available under the dot, dot, dot. I can add a label. I can create a new label. Or I can add it to an existing label. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the test label. And you'll notice that this adds the label right underneath the text of the note. And I have the ability to remove that label from the note just by clicking the X in the corner. So let's go ahead and make another note, but this time a list and repeat this labeling process. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this checkbox uh, to create a list. I'm gonna say grocery list. And you'll notice that for something like this, it gives me a little predict predictive text, which is pretty handy. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the labeling process. I'm gonna add it to test. And I'm gonna hit close. So my note is down here. The labels that I have also appear on the left-hand side navigation. And if I click on the label, it will show me everything that is in that label. This is useful for grouping notes, lists, images, voice memos, and even more by topic, event, or whatever makes sense for you in a particular situation. And you'll notice here that I have items that are in my main area, but I also have one that is archived, which we'll talk about in just a second. If you happen to be a visual person and it would be beneficial to you to have an additional layer of organization by color, you can also change the color of the items within Keep. This option is available on individual notes by selecting this uh, artist palette and selecting colors. You can change the color. So if you want to have a color organizational system, you are welcome to do so. Next, you can have Google remind you about a particular note by clicking on the bell icon for an individual item. You can select a future date and time with their quick options, or you can select a date and time in the future on your own. A really cool feature if you have location enabled on your phone is that you can also set notes to remind you when you reach a particular place by setting a location where you'd like to receive the reminder. So say you want a reminder from your notes first thing when you get to work, you'd enter your work address, and then when you reach your job, it will alert you. Or for this particular example, with the shopping list, you can add the location of the store you're going to, and when you reach that store, it can pop up. The possibilities are endless. This adds the note to your reminders area. So I'm gonna to say tomorrow at, 8 a.m., it's gonna tell me that it's gonna remind me tomorrow at 8 a.m. This also adds this as a reminder in the reminders area of say your Gmail or your calendar. It integrates within that reminders app. If you are interested in removing that reminder, you can just go ahead and click the X right next to the date and time that it will be reminding you or the location and it will remove that reminder.
Keep also has the unique ability to work with photos. You can upload a photo to your Keep by clicking on this new note with image icon. If you're on a PC, it will open the Explorer and you'll navigate to the photo that you want to include in your note. If you're on a mobile device, it will direct you to the storage of your device. Once you've selected an image, it will upload and you can write additional notes below the image. Um, you can add anything that you need to there for yourself. If your image happens to have text, this feature allows you to make an automatic transcription of the text and the image to the text area of the note. This can be really handy for converting text from an image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and you'll notice that it does it pretty quickly. Um, it's got, I have all this text here and then it pulls it down below. It sometimes needs a little cleanup, but it often does surprisingly well at grabbing the text. So in this image as example, the text that it grabbed was pretty good. The one issue it did have was with this not quite O and it made it a C, um, but I can easily just change that. And I can add a space here, even though you can see that it did a pretty good job of transcribing it as it appears, but maybe I do want spaces between those words. So in that same menu that we got the grab image from text, it also allows you to copy the item to Google Docs, which is Google's equivalent of Microsoft Word. And then this would allow you to further manipulate the item in a word processing format. So that's a pretty handy time-saving tip um, to help keep you organized. I'm gonna go ahead and close that note and we'll just take a look at another couple things before we wrap up this video. So you can also pin an item to the top of your keep. So in case you need ready access to a particular item, you can keep items or items pinned to the top of your view. And you would do that just with this um, little pin icon in the upper right-hand corner of a note. So if I pin that, it jumps to the top and then all new items will go below that. You can unpin an item simply by clicking on the pin icon again and it'll jump back into your list. Much like in Gmail, you also have the ability to archive items and keep. This removes them from this main page, but doesn't remove them from your account. Archiving items is effectively used in conjunction with labels in that it's easy to click on a label and see all of the items that are within that label, even if they are archived. You can also search Google Keep by using the search bar at the top. And this allows you to search for words or by type of note and even color. So if you're a visual person and you know that the note was this color, I can click on that and it'll show me all of my teal notes. So in this video, we discuss Google Keep and some tips and tricks to help you get and stay organized using this app. This is our last video in our Learning Lab class series, Google Apps for Organization. We hope you will check out our other Learning Lab classes on our YouTube channel. And as always, feel free to reach out to library staff if you have any additional questions.